Hello. As you can see, ta-da! This is my new toy, X-ray machine I bought from China, of course, as usual. And uh, of course, it didn't inspire me a lot of trust, but does its job. I have a meter counter there. I shielded the side, so I should be pretty fine from exposing myself to large amounts of radiations. But anyway, I just wanted to show you a funny thing. So the, this lovely X-ray machine came with this remote controller, and you know, even before buying, I knew that was probably one of those shitty encodings, like you know, ASK, OK uh, modulation with you know, no rolling code, no security at all. So just you know. Just to prove it, I decided to you know check it check check it out. So first of all, with a frequency counter, I uh, okay there is turned off. Uh, I will just you know check in the frequency. Okay, let's see. Okay, I need to put it closer. Okay, here as you can see, three fourteen megahertz, which usually correspond to the classic standard three hundred fifteen megahertz. So it's, it's close enough. So. Now we have like the frequency, which is very likely to be around 315, 314. So next step, just to confirm that we can do replace when there is no rolling code or other um, uh, prevention way to prevent you know replay attacks. Hello, okay here. So uh, first of all, turn it on. Here we record with uh, HackerF and uh, port the pack thingy okay he's recording okay as you can see i was shooting there we got some bunch of thousands of millisieverts let's go back replay let's see if it works this capture oh yes works fine so yeah it's vulnerable to replay attack bad but you know what did you expect so just wanted you know to, to confirm that works out of the box with with delete so this is you know uh, the usual with delete probably you already know rx on 315 uh sorry tx transmitter on, on 315 megahertz receiver on 315 megahertz and then a little battery behind so let's see if i can manage to Keep it standing. Yes, it's there. So now let's start recording with the phone. Okay. Okay. First of all, let's see if uh, we delete is still alive. It should connect it to the mobile network. So I'm just doing in front of here because, of course, <coughs> it's faster as proof of concept, but. I could be on the other side of the CD controlling with the lead. That's why. Okay, 100 fully charged. And now let's do ASK RX. And now we'll listen for, for you know, incoming, incoming data packets, radio packets, um, and you know, reply back to through the mobile network to myself. So here I, I'm shooting again. Boom. Okay, let's try yet another packet as you can see we are sniffing the packet sending it to mobile network to myself here so now i just need to take the sequence here copy and then wait for soon i will receive a message saying you know uh, finished to to listen to you know sniff the air please insert the next send me the next um, command in the meanwhile i will prepare ask txd11 now we put the binary sequence in there. Uh, where is, we start to remove the trailing zeros, which are pointless from our point of view. And this should be the sequence. Let's see. Send. Of course, the remote is here. You can press. Let's see if we. It's too short. Let's try again. Go then. Let's see. Of course, technically, I should be able to. 
actually right there. Oh yeah, it worked. So yeah, we controlled over, we delete. Um, we control over the phone, we delete that sent, uh, sniffed packet to the X-ray machine, so we could place we delete outside a, a you know a room or a building, or hospital where these hopefully not in Europe devices used and you know sniff and replay attacks and you know uh, shoot X-rays at random you know whenever we want. Of course, we say we delete. We can use other type of standalone devices that are kind of you know affordable and open source so in this case Joel was so kind to send me the Crow uh, RF which I created a, uh, a a nice lovely uh, 3d case with my 3d printer I will upload and make a pull request on, on Joel's uh, github repo just you know to push it there if anyone else wants to make it um, and I also added a, a couple of heat sinks. I will show you later how it works, but yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, now it's turned on. And now we can do the same with, um, with, with my phone. Just give me a sec. Wi-Fi is off. Now let's turn on the Wi-Fi. Heavy Crow RF. Okay, we are in. Ooh, 168.4.1. Okay, we are in. I can start recording again. So, as I said, this is now I'm connected to to um, Evil Crow RF, so now we set the configuration, we know from before the well, module, we can decide bet between which um, uh, mo RF module we want to, to listen, so I will say RF module 1, frequency, let's say 350 megahertz, uh, uh, gaining 50, apply, okay, should have worked, uh, and now we go in RX log, okay, now it is rebooting, Probably because. Okay, so as you can see, no logs. So what we do now is now is listening on on the first antenna and trying to you know listen and decode the packets on ASK. Okay, so let's try again shooting. There, I'm getting my lovely dose of radiations. And here, if I do like. Um, Refresh, voila, we, we got the binary sequence, see? As you can see, it's almost the same, it actually is the same of um, of the ones if we delete. So now in this case, with, uh, come on, let me copy just the number. Okay, whatever, 55, 9, uh, 55, 92, 51, 2. Okay, now we go back, we go in TX, Module one frequency three fifteen. And what was the code? Nice, I forgot. What a nice thing. Copy. Okay, TX. What I was saying, try again. Come on, motherfucker. Okay, uh, oh, let's say module 2, 315, code here, paste, and then we know that, you know, the code length was 24, and voila, of course, you know, proof of concept matter, remote is there, so again, transmit, as it is, as easy as it is. So now, just to give an idea how it looks, the, the case I've prepared for Evil Crow RF. So the idea is I need to unscrew all of them. Yeah, action. Oh, 
Voilà. So, pretty simple. There are heat sinks all over. Actually, I could have put also here, but I didn't have enough. So, should be enough on ESP and the two uh, TXRX chip chipsets. So, it's pretty simple, but you know, clean. Of course, we can access the uh, buttons, GPIO buttons out there, case. And yeah, it looks pretty nice. Thanks, Joel, for sharing this little tiny device with the community, actually. I mean, considering it's open source, the software and the hardware is like manufactured by the, the same guys that uh, agreed on manufacturing uh, with and with the lead, it is like pretty satisfying. So, yeah, as you can see, stay away from Chinese, you know, stuff, unless you want to get some good, uh, good, uh, good old dose of radiations. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Bye.